five hundred years now, right down to the day since Cabot dropped anchor in Bonifaz Bay. Why there's still controversy, I can't reconcile, cause it's clear he first landed on Newfoundland Isle. Some foolish ones say that he passed on along and didn't see nothing out there in the fog. And before you could say, how's she going, old cock? The Matthew and Rousseau on Cape Breton rocks. Oh, we'll go along with some pretty strange stuff, but we must draw a line when enough is enough. There's much that we have, and you're welcome to have it. But you can't have Joe Smallwood, and you can't have John Cabot. I can't read aloud, but I learned about shoals and I know about rocks. Sure we live on a big one, our joy and our pride, and no one can miss us, though hard they might try. We'll buy the Cape Red historical view, how Cabot made Sydney the last week of June. If they'll first agree that the road Cabot took, was across Middle Ridge down to Baden North Brook. Oh, we're pretty gullible most of the time. We've seen plenty wool pass in front of our eyes. We'll give away anything just for some habit. But they can't have Joe Smallwood and they can't have John Cabot. Yes, I must admit, we are noticeably soft. You can take all we have, sure, and lug it all off. We've been at it so long now, it's just for some habit. But don't touch Joe Smallwood and lay off John Cabot. There is one thing on which all Newfoundlanders agree. They agree on this. Yes, we've had some doozies and you're welcome to have them. But you can't have Joe Smallwood and you can't have John Cabot. Thank you, Ward.